Now to a tragic death on the flooded Quiver River in Lincoln County. A group of friends were on the water when their boats crashed into each other last night. One person fell off the boat and disappeared. And today, search crews found the 20-year-old man's body. Five on your side, Justina Cornell is live in Old Monroe with the latest. It's a much quieter scene right now, but earlier today, this area was packed with a ton of people and not just with rescue and search teams, but also with family members and friends desperately and anxiously waiting to hear more information about their missing loved one. Sadly, the around 1240 this afternoon, uh, we were able to find the missing subject. Tragic news for a group of friends out on the water for Memorial Day. Both of the boaters knew each other. They were all friends um, running around together and just a, a tragic accident did occur. Monday, a call came in shortly after 645 that a boat crash happened on the Quiver River. Witnesses say one person was seen going into the water after the crash that was not wearing a life vest. His name hasn't been released yet. Young male, 20 years old, um, that resides out of Moscow Mills. Old Monroe Fire District, along with State Highway and other fire crews, started their missing search mission last night. But they ended up with news they didn't want to hear. Divers went down, located that body, and we did recover the body from the river today. He was actually located fairly close to where the accident occurred on the river. One of the boat drivers, 24-year-old William Nordman Jr., was arrested for boating while intoxicated. Um, he was arrested for boating while intoxicated last night. Uh, he was processed and released pending the investigation. This investigation is still ongoing, but until more unfolds, dozens of their friends and family members are just trying to be there for one another during this heartbreaking time. This is not what we hope for. We hope that, you know, we wish we could have got out there and, and you know, help the subject when, you know, when he was down um, and, and not have him, you know, drown in the water. Even though these rivers are high and dangerous, State Highway Patrol does not, or State Highway Administration does not believe that these waters had to do anything with the accident that happened last night. And now it is because that these waters are stagnant, so they did not believe this had to do anything with the accident. And with the summer here, they just want to make sure that everyone that's going on the boat to be safe. Reporting in Old Monroe, Justina Cornell, five on your side. An urgent warning.